Good day, sir. Howdy. How are you going? You're not too bad. Yourself? Peter Millich is my name. I'm the policeman from Natty Mock just up the road there. Righto. What's your name, sir? Why is that? Well, you, well, first off, why have you pulled me over and so you've, you've indicated you. that there's an emergency with your lights on? Well, have you I've not? I've accepted you because in Victoria, when you go past the police emergency vehicles, so all emergency vehicles in Victoria, police, fire, ambos, that sort of thing, you must go past it 40 kilometres an hour. You were doing 95 kilometres an hour. Any reason why you're going at that speed past the police vehicle? The flashing lights? Going? No comment. No comment. So what's your name, please, sir? Why is that Cause relevant? Because you committed an offence by driving... Sorry, I've committed an offence? Have I... Is there a crime? Yeah, it's a crime. So what's the crime that's been committed? What I just tell you. Please repeat it. The, the, you've committed the offence of going past... What crime has I committed? For there to be a crime, there must be a victim. No? Can you please get your foot off my ute, please? Oh, very sorry. Thank you. Can you produce your... Tell me your name and produce your uh, driver's licence, please. What, cr what crime is there? What well, crime has well, been committed? There's been a traffic offence committed. Okay. Right. Well, no. well, you are required in Victoria, when you committed a traffic offence to give me your name and address and produce your licence. What crime is there? What did I just say? It's not a crime, it's a traffic Well, there, for, for there to be a crime, You're there must Victoria, be a victim. Sir. You must abide by Victorian rules. The Victorian rules are... Just come up here, Jim. So I'm simply, I'm sim I'm sim no, I don't understand. Why not? What part do you understand? I'm simply travelling in my private capacity. You're travelling in a motor vehicle? I'm travelling yeah. in my private capacity. You're travelling in a motor vehicle? In my vehicle. private property. You're travelling in a motor vehicle in Victoria? Yes? Just ask the great member to come up to me, please. So, do we go through it again, or do you want to tell me your full name and address and produce your license, please? Well, first off, I want to know what crime's committed. You have put your lights on saying that, you know. Well, that's not what I said. I said that you have committed an offence by travelling past the vehicle. As you have done, the police vehicle with the lights flashing like it was, same as that's flashing on the vehicle behind you, yeah? No comment. Right. Well, I'm telling you, you did. It's recorded that you did it, okay? Okay. So it's recorded. Right. And then I'm, and I'm recording you, now. Yep. I can see that because you've got the phone up. Yeah. Right? So, as I said, it's recorded of what you've done. You've gone past your requirement in Victoria when the emergency lights are flashing. So what, what, what crime, what crime is... I didn't tell you it was a crime. It's an offence. And as it's an offence in Victoria, which you are in Victoria, would you agree with that? I don't answer questions. Oh, don't you? Well, I'm telling you you're in Victoria. If you don't know where you are, I guess that's an issue too. Alright? But you are in Victoria. Mm-hmm. You're happy well, with I... that if I tell you that you're in Victoria? Well, you can tell me that. That's, that's fine. Uh, but yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to understand, you've put your lights on indicating that you, that there's, um, you know, something's wrong. No, I didn't. I indicated my lights, like they are, for you to pull over, which you eventually did. Took you some time, but you did do it. Okay, so here you are, hmm. we're having a conversation. And You asked me what crime's been committed, I said it's not a crime as per the Crimes Act. Okay. But it is a defence. When my colleague is up there with the lights flashing, the emergency lights are flashing, your requirement in Victoria, which we've already been through, and I think you even semi-agree with me, you are in Victoria, even though you don't answer questions, right? Well, you are in Victoria. So therefore, you must obey the road traffic rules as per in Victoria. I don't understand. What do you understand of that? All of it. Because I'm simply travelling in my private property... You are driving a motor vehicle in Victoria. Travelling in my private property. No, you property. can call it whatever you like, but I'm telling you, you're driving a motor vehicle in Victoria. 
as such, you must comply with all the rules and legislations of Victoria. And what was your name, mate? Legal Senior Constable James Richardson. I'm from the Garoke Police Station. Okay, cheers. So, do we understand now? No, I don't understand. What could you not understand? I don't understand your authority. You look like you're a, you know... A legal license. No. So, again, let me state to you, as you have committed an offence, which you've been through, you are required to state to me your full name and address and produce your licence, driver's licence. So, are you going to do that? I don't understand. Well, there's nothing else to understand. You need to reach into wherever you keep your driver's licence, produce it, and... <laughs> And state your name and address. What are you putting your hand, indicating your hand like that for? Yeah, that person's broken the law, but we're dealing with you at the moment. Broken the, the law you just did? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, traffic but we're now, we've, we've got to deal with you. While we're talking with you, we can't enforce any <laughs> other laws. So produce what, the what, law, what law? What did I just explain? It's what law? Traffic legislation. Road Safety Act. Travelling so it's an act, it's an not act. a law. It's an act of parliament, which is a law. Can you pro show me the proclamation, please, turning that act into law? It was no, we don't have to. We don't have to show you anything like that. All right? So is Let's this your motor vehicle? This is my private property, yes. Yeah, well, you're using it on a Victoria Highway, so you've got certain obligations. Are you going to comply with those obligations? Or are you going to place under arrest? Which is? Oh, jeez. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, that's simple. You're under arrest for failing to state your name and address and produce a driver. So you've just reached in. Yeah, absolutely. So, step step from the vehicle. You can just comply. Are you going to comply? I have to comply. No, you haven't. Oh, you so have not done what I've asked you to do. I need to search, pack down search in order to ensure my safety. I do not consent to any of this. I didn't ask you to consent to it. There's nothing on it. Back off your own arrest. Until we can confirm your identity. Do you understand that? No, I don't understand. Okay. Do you, do, 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 do you want to just come around the back here, please? I don't want you standing out on the highway. And... Registered user or conveyance or whatever you want to call it, this particular thing here, is that registered in your name? Blake Edward Hunsley. Now, the other, the other thing, this, you're producing this and you've told me that that's going to be your details. Is that what you see? Come, come back and have a look.
So I was placed under arrest and now they've just given me my keys after I've given them the corporation license. And told me where you live. No, I haven't. Yeah, you, you read it off my license. You told me that it was on and your now license. And I yes, you and I said, well, I live in. I'm a living man, and I live no, well, here within that. myself. You did add that. I'm a living soul. I'm a living man. Yeah, you added that later. After you told me about that. Well, that's after you took my phone off me. No, I didn't. Where was your phone? You said. I just went and grabbed it. Off where? <laughs> off the seat, because you seat. guys put it there. You put it there. I saw it. By the way, it was on in your. What do you call this? Motor conveyance? My private property. Private property? Yes. I call it a vehicle, a motor vehicle. You call it a lot. Have you guys, do you guys read the Australian Constitution no. much, do you? Yeah. No? Oh, I love that, how you just nut and walk away. Because <laughs> you know, you guys work for a corporation, don't you? Uh, there, we move on to the next part, wait. Have you found you? Driving a motor vehicle, I require you to Traveling undergo a in private property. Require you to undergo a preliminary breath test to my satisfaction, which entails taking a deep breath and blowing into this device. I've provided you my address. You are required, and I've given you my name. That's all I'm required to no, do. No, you are not. As a driver of motor vehicle, that I have intercepted. Traveling in private property. I have intercepted on a highway. You are required to undergo a preliminary breath test to my satisfaction. Do you understand that? Nope. Well, you are. And I'm telling you, you are. No, I don't. You don't tell me what I understand, mate. You asked me, do I understand? And I said no. Okay. So I require you to undergo a preliminary process. What's which the law? You, Where's the law? Been through all that. So you are required to do it. Otherwise, we'll end up going, going back around the circle to where we were before. Like, well, but earlier you said if I provide this corporation license, which I've done, yeah. which has all the details, and that's it. Yeah, that was to do with the After initial stop. After placing me under arrest and grabbing yeah, well, that's my car and yeah. grabbing keys, yeah, you admit so, you did that, well, grabbed me. Well, you confirmed your identity, you're free yeah. to go. Oh, except, so I'm free to go? You except, do have to do a preliminary breath test. You just said I'm free to go. Except, except doing the preliminary breath test. If you don't wish to do the preliminary breath test, you can refuse to. I don't refuse. I'm, just, I'm not refusing. Then what? Give them three to make. It's, it's ready to go. Alright. All you have to do is take a deep breath, inhale through there continuously until I tell you to stop. Are you prepared to do that? I do not comply. Okay. Well, if you don't comply... I mean, I, I'm not refusing not like you're saying I am. Well, but if you, you don't know. actually comply with it, then you are refusing. No. Are you going to do a breath test or something? If you fail to do a breath test, it may have an impact on your licence for a period of two years. So you'll be charged with the offence of refusing. I'm not refusing. So you either do it or you don't do it. So if you don't do it, then it's a refusal. How is that refusing? Because you don't do it. You either do it or you don't. So not do it. doing something is refusing to do something, yeah, isn't well, there's it? Only, there's only a couple of ways it can go. Either you will blow through it, and if you hadn't had anything alcohol-wise, hadn't consumed any, then it shouldn't be a big deal to you. You blow through this, and it comes up, as long as it comes up negative, you'll be good to go. Simple as that. Like, so, you tail continuously through that. So I ask you to stop. I don't yeah. understand. It has an impact on your license, but you can lose it up to two years, in, and that's driving anywhere in, in uh, Australia. So South Australian license. That's a, that's a period of what mandatory period of disqualification. So it'll be a court appearance. You have to come over to court. Well, you don't have to come to court, I suppose. You can not turn up, and then it's up to the magistrate. But it would be a court appearance, and you'd be the charge would be. I don't understand. What part don't you understand? Don't Seems understand. very simple to me. I've explained this to you. You guys are a corporation. <laughs> I'm not worried what you think. I'm not so worried what you think, mate. All right, and you can chuckle all you want, but we're just simply going to do our job. You've been explained that the reform is for you to. Do and and again, what that. what crime has there been? You guys are here to protect and serve. You know. We'd like to get well, on with what, doing what some more of that, but we're here dealing with you. I know. <laughs> All right.
not. So you have refused to do it? I have not refused. Well, it is either you doing it or you refusing to do it. I have not refused to do it. You have refused. What's your reason for failing to follow my direction? Blow it and pay the tape. Is the word compliant. That's what he wants to hear. Is that what you want to hear, Brad? Sorry? You want to hear that we, we're asking you and your father to comply, is it? Is that what you want to hear? What exactly do you want to hear? Well, I don't think we can make it any clearer. I'm just trying to figure out what you guys actually right, So, what is your reason for failing to comply with my request to undergo a preliminary breath test? Take me to the law. Thank you. Been in touch with some paperwork. Well, there we go. Just a corporation taxing the people. So sad to see, really. They could be out. You could be out catching pedophiles. Yeah. Catch the real pedophiles, you know? Actually serve and protect the people. No? Said you'll just tax people. Just, just going to tax people. No, right, mate? You, you going to? No? Don't want to catch real criminals? Don't want to catch real criminals? Catch pedophiles, the corrupt politicians. Shame, 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 shame.